Hi guys, I am Isa, and today we're going to be continuing our HTML tutorials. So today, we're going to learn how to style tables in HTML. So I'm going to make the table, and then table, and then T head. I know I haven't learned about this before, but you don't have to put the T head. So then go to put table row just tr i'm going to do th which is table heading i'm going to do number and singular and plural a bit of space so no we have them then after the T head we're going to make a T body and the T body is where is where we're going to be putting another T R except with T D just table data so boy I'm just going to copy this TR to make multiple of them. Lastly, in the five table and and tables. Okay, so now we have this. Did not that have a CSS file linked? Let's go with my CSS. Okay, before that, I'm going to add a class to the table if you don't so the reason we're adding a class is so that if your website has multiple tables and you always want to start one of them we can just use classes I want to do content table also you can't put spaces in classes so yeah name the content table so to start classes in CSS we do dot I want to do dot content table so this is how it looks like right now. I need to do border, border, collapse, collapse. Anyways, so it's going to reduce the space in between these. So it's kind of like going to like collapse the space in the table. So if I reload it, it becomes a bit smaller. I'm going to do margin only 5px 0 so the 25px is for the top and bottom and the 0 is for right and the left this is font size 0.9 em also, EM is just like PX, so uh, you can use whichever one. And then, minimum width. And the PX. So, if we use this minimum width, then it's going to set its minimum width to that, and it cannot be less than that. 
of course that it's going to expand if needed it's going to make it so if we go this makes it more longer so that's all for the dot contents table I'm to do dot contents table to your head in TR also so and then we're going to add background color of I'm going to add this color so we added it I'm going to do color white so it's going to add white background color I mean for the text and then text align left so because on most browsers if you make a table like this the text is going to be aligned to the center so we're going to align to the left you want to do font weight of bold and make sure that's always bold and so one thing that i'm going to do it's not necessary i'm just going to start the body to change the font family i change the font so anyways so next thing i'm going to do is the content table th comma you call my font to start two elements the content table td and to do padding 12 px 15 px as i said 12 px for the top and bottom 15 px for the right and the left No table looks better. Next thing we're going to do is the content table T body TR. Add a border bottom. A one px solid white. Do whatever color you want. So I can also do something like gray. Now it's in between them. So anyways, the next thing we're going to style is the contents table T body T R. And put this column and then NTH of type. Of and even so what this does is that it's going to look for even numbers of something in your HTML document so like if this is if this one is number one so it's a dot number so it's going to be doing this one since it's even and this one since it's even so we're going to add a background color to do white yellow I don't have to change the color I'm just gonna change the color a bit I'm not gonna change every even number so go down we'll take do the content table uh, T body TR and then do this semicolon again and do last of type. What this last of type does that is going to do the last one in your document. I'm going to add a border bottom MPX solid. I'm going to do the same color that I made. 
the, this had the tippy. So anyways, so now we now we have a finished table, but we can add some extra things to it. So let me just go back to the body and add pattern of 20 px. Things like that. So there are some additional things you can add to it. So first for the first one, I need to go all the way back to the contents table. Well then I'm going to add a border radius. What border radius does is make some parts of it to be like to be kind of like a circle. So I'm going to do border radius. Fx, Fx, zero, zero. Fx, zero, zero. And right back in 5px. Or 30. For the top left and top right of the table. I want to do overflow hidden. So now, uh, so now the, so now the border radius works. What the overflow hidden does is that the things that I can't hold are hidden. I'm going to do box shadow. We're just going to add a shadow to it. I'm going to do zero z. I'm going to do 0, 0, 20 px in black. Not a shadow. Except that if we want the black to be transparent, then we could just go to this and find this alpha meter. So we can move it down. Make it to be transparent. So anyways, so another extra thing you can add is like if one of these things is selected. So yeah, I'm going to add um, to do the content table T body. We are dot active dash row. <clears throat> so it means a TR that has a class of active row, which you're going to put in soon. Just going to do font weight bold and color. I'm going to do the same color that I used for the heading. I don't want to do anything because we need to give something that class. So I'm going to go to this one, to this TR, and then do class of active row. So now it becomes so now it becomes more it becomes more bolder and more blue. Anyways, that's the end of today's tutorial. If you've enjoyed, then leave a like and subscribe. So, bye.